hey what is up people this is some back again with another video and in this video i am going to show you how you can use widgets from another classes or screens okay so uh, this is a kv related video so guys let's begin okay so first of all i'm going to import the main class okay so i'm going to use the kvmd package okay so from kvmd.app import md app okay after that from kv.lang import builder so i'm going to use this builder module for load this demo.kv file okay after that from kv sorry it's my bad from screen manager import screen manager after that I'm going to create a class okay this class is going to be let's say demo project and then I'm going to inherit this class from screen manager and let me pass this class right now I'm going to add functions later after that I'm going to create my main class okay and this class is going to inherit from my MB app class and then I'm going to add the build function this build function is going to build the widgets and functions whatever you add so guys i'm going to pass the self argument after that i'm going to load my um i'm going to load my demo.kb file okay builder.load file demo.kb okay this should be in a string format after that i'm going to return my demo project class and then i'm going to run this main class using this run method okay that's done now i'm going to load this demo project class in my demo.kb file okay in a angular bracket or something like that so uh, here i'm going to add two screen okay so first screen and then the second screen okay i'm going to name this first screen as screen one okay and then i'm going to name this as screen two okay then i'm going to add a widget let's say i'm going to add a label and then i'm going to set a text let's say screen one hello world or hello world only hello world okay then i'm going to set a id sorry it's my bad let me indent it id and the id is going to be screen one okay and then I'm going to, sorry, it's my bad. And I'm going to center it. Okay. I'm going to center this. I'm going to align this horizontally to the center. Okay. And then I'm going to add another level to my screen 2. Okay. And this ID is going to be screen 2. Okay, after that, I'm going to add a button. Let's say MD raised button. Let me add a space. Okay, and then I'm going to set the text. Press me. And then uh, let, let me add a function. Okay, I'm going to access these screens properties. Okay, these screens properties. So I'm going to call a function okay i'm going to call a function whenever the button is released okay on released sorry guys my bad this is not on released this is on release okay on release i'm going to access this id okay so for that sorry guys, my bad root dot id is root means the whole project okay so i'm going to add and i am adding these widgets okay in this project so make sure you are doing according uh, you are doing 
along with me okay now root dot id is dot i'm going to access this id okay this id is, is oh, sorry it's my bad i'm going to access this id For, uh, first of all i'm going to access this id okay screen one and then i'm going to change the text okay dot text uh, what i'm doing actually is i'm going to change this text with this one okay let me change it hello world from screen 2 okay this is the screen 2 widget okay then i'm going to access this id and then i'm going to access this text attribute okay so for that root dot id's dot screen to dot text okay that's how it's done and i'm going to add another button for switching the new screen you can add you can add the switching function in this button but i'm going to clarify one thing with this so i'm going to remove this method and then i'm going to i'm going to switch to uh, i'm going to write the function which is going to switch the next screen okay root dot current equal the screen name okay screen two okay now i'm going to run my project and let's see how it looks like okay okay there is an error invalid indentation too many okay let's fix it maybe one there is an indentation error okay guys i made a mistake it is going to be capital letter sorry guys my bad okay now i'm going to run this okay i need to set the position okay that looks so bad so i'm going to set the position of my md raised button okay i just commented out while i was debugging okay now uh, let me set the position okay the pause hint pause hint it should be at the center of x axis uh, the center of x axis should be 0.5 and let me set the center of y axis to the 0.8 and let me copy this piece of code and paste it here and then i'm going to fix the center of y to 0.3 okay and then let me rename this button to next screen okay now i'm going to oh okay guys my bad let me edit here okay now i'm going to read on my file and let's see okay um let me uh, f first of all i'm going to check the uh, check this button okay okay this is 100 percent working but i didn't add any kind of uh, any kind of button to back my previous to get back my previous screen okay so i'm going to copy this piece of code and after that i'm going to paste it here and then i'm going to change the screen okay screen one next screen and it is it is going to be previous okay now first of all i'm going to check so it's my bad okay so first of all i'm going to check if this button can get this property okay from screen two okay now i'm going to check it okay let me show you here the text is hello world from screen two i'm going to access this text to my first screen okay let me press this okay we just got the string here now i'm going to show you a couple of more stuff how you can control your properties 
how you can control how you can access widgets from another screen by python file okay by your python by python code okay now i'm going to add a function let's say print message okay i'm going to pass the self argument and as instance okay instance should be root or whatever you want you can give now i'm going to set a variable called self dot example so i'm going to access i'm going to access this property okay i'm going to access this property self dot example equals self dot ids dot screen two okay the reason i am using self because self means the total project and in kb language root means the total project okay i hope you got the idea okay now i am going to print the text attribute of screen two okay from the screen one button okay i am going to print this from you know, let's say this button okay i am going to change it okay now uh, what uh, what actually this button is going to do this button is going to change the screen and print a message to the console okay the message that is going to print is uh, the message it is going to print will come from screen 2 okay so let me set it okay uh, self dot example dot text okay so it is going to oh, it is going to print this text okay hello world from screen two okay now i'm going to change the screen okay the screen uh, the the uh, so for that i'm going to access the root argument after that i'm going to set root dot current equal I add extra space root dot current equal I, I added an extra okay root dot current equal screen 2 okay I'm going to copy this and paste it here okay but I didn't call this function okay I'm going to call this function to this button I'm going to bind this function okay I'm going to bind this function with this button okay so on release root dot root means as i mentioned earlier root means the whole project that means this class okay i'm going to access this function from this class okay i hope you got the idea so root dot the function name okay root dot print message then i must pass the instance here is the instance i need to pass it here okay now i hope everything is okay so whatever the next whenever i press the next screen button it is going to access this text from another screen and print it to the console okay let me check it okay let me press this next screen okay here we got here in the console we got the printed message here is the message okay let me zoom it okay here is the message okay i'm going to uh, i'm going to get back my previous screen and then here i'm going to press it couple of time okay okay here you got the result okay i hope you got the idea how we can access widget from another class or another screen okay so guys that's all today's video keep watching goodbye